Oh, the sweet, sweet rewards of my ambition. The crown, mine. The queen, mine. So many months planning to make for the perfectly discreet succession to a new king, me. Was it headbang to the ear? Or was it such an unfortunate bite of a snake? Who's to say? <laughs> Although, I must admit, I have sacrificed much. So much that in fact, my sacrifices are equivalent to Christ. Except mine are treacherous. Oh, perhaps this was all a mistake. Was killing my own brother really worth the rewards? I am but Thysties to Atreus. Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet was such a fair king. Did he really deserve to die? Was it his time to go? Why should I have killed him? Yeah. Everyone must die one day. Just as our father died, and his father before him. It's how nature works. But it wasn't his time, was it? Perhaps if I'd waited longer, would the timing have been better? And now, now I have to deal with the threat of Fortune Bra's rage. Now I must solve this problem of Hamlet's own making. I fear he will attack. The refusal to relinquish his lands that are rightfully ours. And if I can't prevent an attack, will Denmark be able to defend itself? Or will it fall like Troy? I will appeal to old Fortune Bros. Perhaps I will solve my problem and gain the trust of my kingdom. The kingdom that certainly favors young Hamlet over myself. However, he isn't really much of a threat to my throne. Much too sorry of a state is he in. A matter that is certainly mine to ease though. I must find a way to cheer up young Hamlet. A poor boy, lost a father at such a young age. By my hand. Oh, oh God, think of me. How will I seek forgiveness? Now is not the time for action. There will be time for forgiveness later. It seems like a good time for a drink and a calm, calculated speech with sinister overtones. A speech about marriage, about mourning, sadness, power. <laughs>